guys it is thursday i hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start thanks so much guys for stopping in for yet another battle of the brands and just like before the battle of the brands is going to be between the infamous louis vuitton and gucci all right so Today, guys, we are going to be looking at the Boston bag, which I have here. All right, I have three Boston bags in that particular category, and we will have three Speedies going up against the infamous Boston bag of Gucci. All right, there are going to be five categories that I will focus on as we go through this little comparison, this little battle of the brands, all right? The first one is going to be price, all right? So as we know with these luxury bags, they are all an investment, all right? And so if you're like me, you want to know how much, how big is the investment you're going to make. So price will be first and underneath each bag in the video, within the video, you will see the price listed there, all right? The second category that we are going to focus on here within this particular video, this particular battle of the brands is going to be structure. How are these bags made? All right, how are they going to function on different body types, you know, depending on the structure or the makeup of the bag? All right, the third category is going to be um material what are these bags made of all right as you know leather and canvas they are going to um, react differently whether it be rain snow moisture oils and speaking of oils i want to point out that my hands are going to be a little bit more dry in this particular video than you are used to in others i deliberately did not moisturize my hands as well as I typically do when coming on here to film. And that is simply because I don't like to oil up or um, get stains and things on my bags. As you know, when you're dealing with some of the leathers, in particular the Vachetta, oil can react with the Vachetta leather, giving you a uh, bit of a patina. And I personally, have some bags here and i'll show them here to you in a second that have a bit more patina than i would like at this point and so the ones who do not have a lot of patina i am really not trying to you know have them patina prematurely all right so next up is going to be popularity popularity is the fourth category that i want to look at um you may be one of those individuals who don't want to walk out of your house and see everyone with the bag that you are carrying. So we'll touch on popularity here. And then finally, we're going to look at wearability. Wearability meaning, you know, will I be able to, or will you guys be able to take these bags or a particular bag from the office and then over into a, let's say a date night or from, you know, a casual, uh, day of shopping over into a you know maybe a formal dinner so we'll touch on all of that here the first bag that I want to take a look at or share with you here is going to be the Gucci GG vintage Boston bag with the webbing here I love the iconic webbing on the Boston bags they just really make a statement all right, now I have this bag here in the medium size, okay? Guys, I have had this particular bag for years and as I hold it up, to me this medium actually looks like a small now because the bags have just become so, so large. You guys know that I've said here countless times on the channel that I am a huge fan of the larger bags, but I have to say that I am really loving the resurgence, especially with uh, Gucci, um, of their smaller bags. But in terms of comparing the Boston bag to the uh, Louis Vuitton Speedy, as you can see here, the shape is almost identical, all right? With your Boston bags, you're going to have a little bit more structure. I will say with Louis Vuitton, their um, speedies are going to be a little bit more relaxed 
especially down here through the bottom of the purse. All right, so some of the features with this medium um, Boston bag, on the bottom you see that there are no feet, okay? But because this particular bag has that really lovable um, coated finish, you don't necessarily have to worry about too many stains or destroying your bag when you sit it on the floor and I would hope not the ground. We are going to now go ahead and open the bag up, but first I wanna say that this bag features the muted gold hardware. I love the gold hardware on the Gucci purses as well as on your Louis Vuitton bags. As I stated guys, this is one of my older bags and I would have to say for the age of this particular bag guys, I think it is holding up really, really nicely. On the inside of the bag, it, there will only be featured one zipper pocket. I love the fact too that because of the structured nature of this Gucci purse, it still has like a tight um, opening. It doesn't collapse as I try to put things in or remove items. It still holds up really, really well and I think really kind of camouflages the age of the bag. So there's only one zip pocket here on the inside. The, the top handles are leather, so I love that. The feel of the handles are of a really sturdy nature. I know with some of my Gucci top handle bags, the uh, they kind of got away from the sturdy leather, almost filled type of a handle. So this one right here is really giving you a lot more support, okay? So we're going to compare the Louis Vuitton Speedy, and this is the Speedy 20, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a teeny tiny bag. I, I don't know. Unless it is a crossbody, you will not see me purchasing a bag this size anytime soon, okay? So this is the Louis Vuitton Speedy 20. As you can see, I have it here in the iconic Louis Vuitton canvas, the signature canvas, okay? So as you can see, if I hold both bags up here, the Gucci, even though, you know, the Louis Vuitton is a little bit wider, the Gucci is going to be longer here than the Louis Vuitton. So they are quite similar in size. The uh, Louis Vuitton, like I said, is going to be a little bit wider, but the Gucci is going to be a little bit longer. All right, now in terms of the price, again, the price is going to be listed below. Uh, so the structure of the bag is what I'll move to next to talk about. As you can see, the structure of the Louis Vuitton Speed 20 is going to be a little bit more relaxed. You're gonna have a little bit more of a casual feel to the Louis Vuitton Speedy 20. The canvas, however, is, I wanna say, very similar. They both have that coated canvas. I love the fact that just with, just like with the Gucci Boston bag, you are absolutely able to wipe this bag down, you know, if you get any stains or any spills or anything on it. Just like with the Boston bag, there are no feet here at the bottom of the bag. And, um, Unlike the Boston bag, the Speedy 20 here is in the trim is trimmed in the Vachetta leather. And as you can see, I have had tons and tons of tons of patina here on this particular bag. However, um, depending on what you like, you may feel that the patina gives the bag a lot of character. I have not uh, taking this bag in to have it serviced or anything like that. However, you may be interested to know that Louis Vuitton does offer that service. I have actually been in store and witnessed young ladies come in with their bags and have a zipper repaired or, you know, there's a seam kind of coming loose and they will actually take you back to an area of the store where they will try to service your bag for you and if they cannot service it in-house they actually do send that bag off and have it repaired now i am not sure if that same service is offered by gucci if you are aware um, of whether or not gucci offers that offers that particular service please drop a line in the comments and let us know all right guys so that was a look at our smaller category of bags 
Let me know too before the video is out. I want to ask you guys, do you have a, a preference? Do you guys prefer the larger bags or do you prefer the smaller bags? Like I said, and I will continue to say at this point in my life, I am a larger bag girls. I love these bags. But um, right now, I will not be purchasing any bags smaller than these, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and move on to our next size category. So up next, the next bag that I want to share with you is the Gucci Boston bag. And this one is actually called Joy. So this is a Gucci Joy Boston bag, and I have it here in the large size, all right? It is also a coated canvas, and I love that Gucci did what I feel is a slight nod to the Vachetta leather, and they have featured this really, really light, nice leather trim here on the bags. But what I love about this bag versus the Louis Vuitton Vachetta is the fact that this bag is not going to patina, or at least I have not seen any patina with um, this particular bag. And again, I have had it for a number of years, all right? I love that this one is much like the Speedies and that the structure with the Joy bag is not as rigid or, or as harsh as some of the Boston bags designs, okay? This one is going to be a little bit more relaxed. It's going to give you a little bit more of a casual feel. This is a great bag for going to brunch with your girlfriends or just running around doing a little shopping. I will say that with this particular uh, Gucci Boston bag, the Joy here, it does feature the uh, muted gold hardware that I really love with Gucci. It has one D ring here on the side. However, it is not showcasing a D ring on this side, so you will not be able to add a strap. But I love that I am able to take this bag, and I will include some mod shots, and just place it in the crook of my arm, and it just looks like a really effortless designer bag. I love the look of it. I just can't believe how long, you know, I've had this bag versus the way it is um, holding up. This bag to me in person, not sure of how it's coming off to you guys here on camera, but it looks brand new. All right, if we can take a look, I'm always getting distracted by people walking past my house when I'm filming, but on the inside, guys, there is a very, very light canvas on the inside. Now, this particular canvas on the inside is not coated, so if you were to get some stains or anything on the inside of this bag, you may have a difficult time removing those stains, and it features one slip pocket here on the inside and it has the Gucci tag there in the same trim color as the remaining portions of the bag. I will say that I do stuff my bags when they are not in use and I think that is really helping to maintain the structure and shape of the bag. I think the integrity really holds up on the designer bags when you stuff them when they're not in use. We're going to compare the Joy Large to the Speedy 40. All right, this is the largest in the Speedy category and it's heavy because it is stuffed right now. But um, this is this is my baby right here. This is my everything bag right here. As you can see, guys, it is in the coated canvas, monogram Louis Vuitton print. I love this bag so, so very much. I love the size, as you can see. I hope it is coming off on camera, but it is a really substantial size bag. I just have a few old sweatshirts and um, dust bags stuff in here, so it's making it really, really heavy. But I hope that you can see that it still maintains that casual integrity of the structure that Louis Vuitton is known for as it relates to the Speedies. Okay, um, the Vachetta leather, as you can see, has not started to patina really because I really don't carry this bag. The Vachetta leather, is infamous for patinaing. I guess that's a word. It's really known for its patina, as I stated with the other bags, and for the infamous water spots. As I see right now, it is pouring raining outside. 
I would never take this bag outside in the rain because once you get those water spots on the bag, it is extremely difficult to kind of, you know, camouflage them. Also, when I'm drinking, right here I'm drinking water in my Starbucks cup. The Starbucks cup is all also infamous for something and that is condensation on the outside of the cup so i would never put ice and cold water in here and you know drink it around this particular purse because i would just be afraid of water spots okay but just a really gorgeous bag though outside of that but um as you can see there are no feet not sure if i shared with you whether or not there were feet on the bottom of the joy but there are no feet on the bottom of the uh joy boston bag either all right so let's go ahead and unzip her i'll remove some of the um filling that i have here on the inside and share that with you i will note that there is an area here with a lock all right this particular speedy 40 came with a lock here as you saw there was no lock on the joy and um this is how it looks over on that side let me hold them up side by side too to try and give you guys a little bit of a <laughs> size comparison all right so this is a large joy boston bag and this is the speedy 40 okay they are similar <laughs> in size but i as you can tell the um the speedy gives us a little bit more girth I'm gonna say the Speedy edges out the Boston Joy. So on the inside of the bag, once again, just like with the Joy, we just have one pocket. It, however, with the Speedy, this one is actually zippered. So you have that really pretty gold detail here with the zipper closure, okay? And I love that it is actually trimmed in that Vachetta. However, with the pocket here being zippered and trimmed in the Vachetta, you know, the more you go in and out of your bag, the more it is going to start to patina. I also love the fact that the inside of the bag has the darker canvas, so you are able to camouflage stains and things like that just a little bit more with this particular bag. So let me know your thoughts, guys, on the Joy, the Gucci Joy versus the Louis Vuitton Speedy 40. All right, guys, so here we have the Gucci GG Boston bag with the gorgeous red and green webbing. I love, love this bag, okay? So like I just stated, this particular bag is in just your regular standard canvas. This particular canvas is not coated, unfortunately, okay? Now, with the bag not being coated, as you guys know, you have the risk of the bag staining and then thereby making it a little bit more difficult to clean. Now, like I stated earlier, Louis Vuitton does offer the repair service or the cleaning service. I am not sure if uh, Gucci offers that, like I stated. If you guys know, please drop a line in the comments and let us know. Fortunate for me, I have not, um, you know, needed to take the bag in to get any repairs or cleaning or anything like that. This bag I have absolutely had for years and it is really holding up well. As you can see, it has two D rings. There's one there and then there's a D ring here on this side. That is because this particular bag does come with a removable strap and the strap also features this really nice chocolate espresso leather with the gold hardware okay so that gives you the ability to be very flexible in how you want to carry this bag you can of course carry it with a strap over the shoulder cross the body and then of course right here in the crook of your arm and that is how i typically carry it and then you know just right here in my hands again really love the gold hardware I love the webbing. You just cannot beat this Gucci webbing. When people see this bag, they automatically know that it is a Gucci bag because the green and red webbing is the Gucci signature, okay? This is a top handle bag, obviously. You do not have to, with this chocolate espresso color, worry about any um, Vachetta patinaing. Um, but again, the canvas of the bag 
is not coated so you have to worry about the stains okay on the bottom there are four feet obviously four gold feet all right four feet in that gold hardware i love that so that really um gives us some added protection on the bottom of the bag this zipper listen to this zipper guys i love a really nice zipper on my luxury bags i'm going to pull out what i have in here i'm going to show you what i have this bag stuffed with my winter scarves okay it's very hot here in atlanta i think that's why we're getting all of this rain so i said why not take my scarves and stuff my bag okay so on the inside of the bag something a little bit different the canvas on this particular bag is even lighter than the bags that i shared with you there's my little swatch here my little gucci swatch um but a really clean bag like i said i've had all of these bags for many many years and they are holding up so well guys do yourself a favor and stuff your bags and just take care of your investment okay so here i have a zippered pocket this bag is very structured so you're going to have i won't say a difficult time getting in here and removing and adding your items but because this bag is so structured you're not it's not going to be real easy for you okay almost borderline cumbersome all right also you have two pockets here uh you can put your phone a small little wallet or a little compact in those two pockets so i love those added features and again just a really pretty light canvas i would be careful you know placing lipstick and ink pens and things like that into the bag because because the canvas on the inside is so light you know there's that chance of them getting marked up really easily but overall just a really great bag all right guys and so our final bag is going to be the speedy 40 however this time it is in the infamous damier e bean print i love i live for the damier e bean print this bag is the easy just grab and go bag it's raining outside i can still take it okay i'm drinking water condensation on the cup it doesn't matter okay so the damier e bean louis vuitton speedy 40 um is in the coated canvas obviously don't you just love these dark handles i love these dark handles no fuss no muss with this bag now the bag features the lock here on that side now i will say this particular bag does not have the capability of adding a strap because of the nature of the makeup of the bag however if you are just really wanting a strap uh, Louis Vuitton does offer a bandolier where that particular bag does come with the strap. However, of course, that bag is going to be a little bit more. Now, for me, because I already have the strap option with my vintage Gucci large, you know, I didn't, it wasn't an issue for me with this bag. It wasn't a big deal. Okay. Once again, the uh, structure of the Louis Vuitton Speedy is a going to be a little bit more casual, not as structured as your Gucci bags. Also, there is there are no feet here at the bottom of the bag, giving us that protection we might want if we have to sit our bags down on a table or, like I said, the ground. Now, if the structure or the sagginess of the bag is going to be an issue for you and you really, really want a structured bag, you can purchase the little um, bag inserts off of Amazon and these will give you a little bit more structure for your bag. These are called, I believe, bag shapers and I use this a lot of times in my Louis, my, uh, my Louis Vuitton Neverfulls. They really help to make your bag a little bit more stable, make it a little bit more structured um, than what is going on right here. Now, with the Louis Vuitton Speedies, I love the fact that they are so casual. So let's say you're going out with your girlfriends and you're not trying to do the most. These Speedies are just ideal for that, okay? Look at that gorgeous red canvas. So vibrant, just beautiful, okay? So, you know, with the Boston bag, the Gucci Boston bag that I just shared with you, we had those two additional little side pockets. Well, you're not gonna get that here with the Speedy 40. However, you do get this really nice zippered pocket, all right? 
again, butter. Just, I love a nice zipper. And again, I've had this bag for quite some time now. And as you can see, the canvas on the inside is just gorgeous. Well, that is it guys. I hope that you have enjoyed this edition of Battle of the Brands, Louis Vuitton versus Gucci. All right, so who's the winner here? For me, the winner is going to be not by a landslide, but by just a little bit. It's going to be Gucci, okay? I love the fact that when I walk out of the house, I am not going to be able to throw a rock and hit someone with my Boston bags, okay? You really don't see the Boston bags as much as you see the Speedies. When you go to the mall, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, the grocery store, wherever, count it, you are, you're gonna see, see at least three people with a Speedy, whether it be Dami A.E. Bean or the uh, Louis Vuitton signature print, you're gonna see it, okay? I rarely see anyone with the Boston bags, okay? So for me, the Boston bag by Gucci is going to come out victorious in this particular edition of Battle of the Brands. Let me know your thoughts, okay? So like I said, Gucci didn't win by a landslide. I love all six of these bags, but I just think if I have to pick both types of purses apart, I'm gonna give it to Gucci because it's not as popular, I guess you could say, as Louis Vuitton. But anyway, guys, thanks again for stopping in. I really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts below as to who you thought the winner was. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.